Ringo Starr and his all-star well band. Woo. Good lad. Two and a half years has been really difficult. I love to play, as you can tell. I put the All Stars together 32 years ago, and you know I was in a couple of bands before that. <laughs> and uh, you know, for me, that's what it's all about: is playing and having an audience. And you know, a long time ago, I mean, we'd, we'd play weddings, we'd play anywhere we could, just so we could play as a band. And it was really, you know, the first time anyone uh, had to go through this. Echo exactly what, what Ringo was saying. It's just getting out and playing music with other people. And, and it's great. We'd, we'd been, we did 2019 and I was, we were all looking forward to the springtime and getting back to it again, but it didn't happen. <coughs> That's why it's great to be back at it now. <clears throat> I would love to play with Ringo at any time, but especially now, uh, I've just been for the last three years, haven't really touched my horn. And I'm sure I speak for a lot of the guys too. We love recording and making recordings, but there's nothing like playing in front of a live audience. You, you give, like Ringo says, you give love and they, they give love right back. So this is so great that we're back doing it again. I think there's a lot of different elements to what we do. We try and come up with songs, we write songs, and then we go into the studio and record them. But if you don't get a chance to go out and play them live, there's always something really missing. So you have an audience, and there's an energy that happens when there's an audience there, and it's like creates this circle, and it's just, it's a kind of, it's a particular kind of high that you can't get from anything else. And so when you don't have that for a couple of years, you really miss it. So that's what, that's what I'm looking forward to. Just great to be back playing again, man. After two and a half years at home, I was lucky to be out working earlier this year just to be back on the road playing music again. And I love every single one of these guys here. We're all old friends, and this is the greatest cat in the world right here. Yeah, it's been sort of like suspended animation for the last two and a half years or so. Just kind of hung up there, and... You know, the way the music business has changed so much in the last few years, playing, playing live is one of the main ways that musicians not only connect with the audience, but actually make a living. So uh, well, it's that. just great to be back doing it again, you know? And so, you know, I've missed four tours and I've really missed these guys. I love to play live um, and I love to play with great musicians and I got a crowd of them right here on stage with me. Get ready to rock and roll. <laughs> we're all really glad we're doing it again. Yeah. You know, I think you got that message. It's, yeah. uh, it's what we do. I like to paint, and I started painting, and then I, I saw spin art. I thought, oh, yeah, let's try that. And I did a lot of spin art, and anyway, it just unfolded that... Uh, some people said, well, you know, you can have your own art gallery on the internet. <laughs> and I thought, how great is that? I can, you know, have this show and I can sell them also. Uh, I paid the carbon tax. It was just a great idea. And I'm walking around this, you know, it's not even there. It's a fantasy just on your computer. And I'm walking around looking at my paintings and you can do the same. So to take that up a step, there are some of them. Uh, for sale. So we've got them in there and it's, you know, what we're doing. But, uh, you know, painting, making EPs and going to the gym, that's how I survived two and a half years. It's loose. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and when I first played here, it was a tent. And look at it now. And it's always a great crowd. And I think, you know, we get a lot of Canadians, of course, because we're here, but it's not that far from New York and, uh, you know, places. And it, we've always had a great time, and we're always really well looked after. Um, are we looked after, guys? Yes, sir. Yes. Indeed. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. See, hear, hear the enthusiasm? <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so th that's why, and it's great because we're in the same place, yeah. and you know we live here. 
for a week we live here and we just go to the stage. You know, it's not the easiest thing when we start up because what's that chord? What's that key? What's that fill? Uh, we have to get back into it. But, you know, and then we have dinner and then we go to bed and then we get up the next morning, we come back down to the stage here. So it's not like we're driving 10 miles to, you know, where we can practice and then, you know, drive back to go to bed or whatever. So it's really, it's good being in the same vicinity uh, as when we're rehearsing. And, I, you know, I tend to try and do that now every time we start. We, you know, we've got another tour ready for September and October, and we'll start the same way. We'll be living in the hotel and rehearsing on the stage, and we do a few gigs to get into it, and then we're on the road again. You know, people say, well, you know, what about retirement? Well, I'm a musician, I don't have to retire. You know, as long as I can pick up those sticks, I got a gig. You know, I may be playing the blues <laughs> later, <laughs> but that's how it is. I just love it. And I think you've heard everybody uh, mention it's just part of us, you know? We're players. Anyone else want to talk? After two years of forced retirement, it's great to... Yeah. found out that retirement really sucks in our line of work, anyway. Well, the idea of retiring is frightening, really. I mean, you know... Y y you have breakfast, there's a lot of hours in the day, you know, so, <laughs> you know, it's, you're, 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 to play music during the day and that initial inspiration you had when you were young to play music, it never, it never leaves you, that, that stays with you, thankfully. I mean, maybe it's not the same for everybody, but, you know, I still feel the same way, you just get ideas and you start to play and you start to, you know, record things and get to play with other people in the same room and there's, there's nothing, really nothing better than that I can't think of, you know? Yeah. I think, you know, a lot of kids, we all started and, you know, and there's kids still starting today, but, you know, there are some of them who just carry on because they just want to play. You know, and the others didn't get a TV show and they, they get a job in a factory, whatever. I mean, I just came in reverse from a factory to this and this is... I promise you, much better. Sweet, <laughs> <laughs> please. All the best. Take care. Peace and love. Thanks, everyone, for coming. Thank you. Have a great day. Peace and love. <laughs>